Where's my screwdriver? Oh, here we go. Ah, okay. All right, so we have the new Intel 14900KS CPU. Got this guy right here. Uh, so this is actually a higher bin than the 14900K. So this guy can go up to 6.2 gigahertz, probably just on a single core, but we're gonna try that out here in the studio on this test bench. But I gotta do a couple of things first because I gotta swap out the old CPU. Right now we have a 13900K in this guy, so I wanna swap that out. Then I'm gonna swap out the cooler for this Deep Cool Mystique 360. This is an AIO and it has the screen on the front, so we'll get that set up. And I'm gonna pair it with the 4080 Super. My goal today is I just wanna hit 6.2 gigahertz. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, we have the chip in our lab right now. They're running benchmarks, so we're gonna post those benchmarks at the end of the video, so stay tuned. So the 4900KS, this guy has 24 cores, eight uh, P cores, 16 E cores, and basically they're all clocked ever so slightly higher than the 4900K. Usually KS ships, they're just at a higher bin, so you just squeeze a little bit more juice. It's the creme de la creme of the silicon lottery, so kind of worth the premium if you ask me. Let's see if we can actually hit that 6.2. That's really crazy. That's a lot of juice. Hopefully the lab will be done benching soon, and then I'll go grab the chip from them. I'll swap out the chip. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get the Mystique 360 mounted here. So we gave the chip to our lab to test, and they were doing some Cinebench and some other tests. And now we're cleaning it up so we can get a better shot for B-roll. I think Kevin will thank us for cleaning this up. I got the Mystique 360 all set up, and I got this actually on our 13900K, so I'm gonna swap out the CPU to the 14900KS, but I got everything set up on the test bench because I wanted to transfer some games over and a couple of other things and take this for a run. The doctor's in. I don't need this yet. All right, so I've got a 13900K that I've had in this for a bit. It's time for an upgrade. So I just clean this off, and... There we go, 14900KS, ready to go. I'm gonna slap that in there. Hey Kevin, what shape should I do for the thermal paste? Do you wanna pick? Smiley face. Do a smiley face? All right, I'll do a smiley face. All right, one, two, and, oh look, it, it looks so happy. <laughs> All right, you ready? All right, do a little star pattern action. Evenly apply some pressure down onto this guy. I got some fingerprints on the screen for this AIO, but I did get the software installed for this deep, cool mystique. And I gotta say, I actually like the screen. It looks pretty good. Turn that on, turn this guy on, and voila. 14900KS. Let's see what the results are from the lab. Ooh. Okay, so 14900KS in Cinebench R23 uh, for CPU multi-core, they got 39,392 points. And for single core, they got 2,424 points. Not bad. All right, cool. Looks like everything's working. F1. It looks like we already hit 6.2 gigahertz just out the gate. Probably for like a brief second. There we go. Oh, we're hitting 6.2. Was hitting it. 6.2. A. So that about wraps it up for the Intel 4900KS. We just got the sample this morning, so we wanted to run it to the lab and then play with it here on our test bench. Uh, we did another round of Cinebench here, and what did we get? 39,855 points in multi-core, 2,351 points in single core. Remember, we used the Deep Cool Mystique 360. This is a 360 millimeter rad, full AIO, and it has a screen on the AIO that I think looks pretty good. Uh, we got some good temps on this guy as well while we were doing our test. Obviously, this got very hot, but it was within reason. And we did hit 6.2 gigahertz on two different cores, actually, number four and number five, but it seems like number five was the one that was pushing the hardest. 6.2 gigahertz is crazy. You can get this available at your local micro center. 
Uh, prices are available on our website, so make sure you go to microcenter.com and you will see the 14900KS listed there, and you'll find the price on our website. And if you don't have a microcenter near you, make sure you comment hashtag I want a microcenter near me.